Hey YouTube, MA Open Carry here in sunny Massachusetts. The uh, the snow is almost melted, the temp is going up, so it's almost time to open carry. Um, anyways, I just wanted to follow up on uh, the previous videos that I posted. Um, I had an interesting conversation with one of my viewers, and uh, he made a good point. There's a there's a, a law in Massachusetts that requires you to identify yourself or with your license to carry. Um, upon demand of a police officer if you are carrying. What's interesting about that language is that it's upon demand, not upon request, upon demand. And um, that's interesting because for an officer to demand anything of you, for you to not be free to go, you must be legally detained. And in Terry v. Ohio, the Supreme Court ruled that an officer needs reasonable, articulable suspicion that you have committed a crime, uh, are about to commit a crime, or have committed a crime. So, without reasonable suspicion, an officer at least shouldn't be able to detain you and demand to see your LTC. That's not to say that he might not try to arrest you anyway. But anyways, um, one might argue that, well, he has a gun, that's suspicious, that you don't see open carry. Well, in... Uh, U.S. v. Black and U.S. v. DeBerry, both of those Supreme Court cases or appellate cases, um, the court ruled that simply being in possession of a firearm where legally carried is not reasonable, articulable suspicion of any crime. Okay? So, simply open carrying in Massachusetts should not give any officer. Uh, the means to demand your ID or your license, okay? That doesn't mean that you can't give it to them just to end the conversation sooner. Fine, whatever. Anyways, <clears throat> going into why I want to open carry, a lot of people have asked me why do I want to open carry. Well, here in Massachusetts, um, we have pretty awful gun laws. And um, I feel like one of the reasons why people are so willing to vote for politicians to enact more gun control is because they have this perception that only cops should have guns and criminals have guns by default. And that there's a lot of, um, there's almost like a, uh, a public shame factor when you're a gun owner in Massachusetts, you know, um, because that's all they see. Criminals have guns cops have guns and they have the occasional story of a, a child who gets into their parents uh, firearm and either hurts themselves or hurts somebody else and that's really it right so I would like to change the the perception that only criminals cops and negligent people have guns the other reason why I like to open carry is the mere fact that it's it's more comfortable for me okay so when you are when you have a concealed carry firearm, uh, you need to find a holster that fits your gun, that fits your body type, okay? And you might not always find the same holster works for every outfit. You know, sometimes if you're dressing up nice, uh, maybe it doesn't quite work. Well, maybe it prints too much and you don't want to print, uh, or it's not comfortable uh, to wear. So you might decide, well, I'm going to leave it at home then. Well, you know, now you're now you're you're essentially putting your safety at risk for comfort. You know, so with open carry, uh, you don't have that sort of issue. You don't have the comfort factor. You, it's it's literally on your belt, on your side, outside the clothes. It's it's no more burdensome than having a oh, a cell phone or you know pager if anyone carries those anymore uh, not in this state but in other states another reason why someone might open carry is the fact that they don't require a license to open carry they only require a license to conceal so um, Maine for instance I can open carry in Maine without a license uh, Vermont I can open carry without a license I can conceal carry without a license in Vermont um, so some people might not want to go through the financial burden of going through the licensing process 
you know you gotta spend a hundred dollars or so for a safety course then a hundred dollars to apply for a license um, so and that's every every five years every five six years um, you know and it's it's a financial burden so some people just choose to avoid the whole licensing factor completely now in Massachusetts to open carry you need a license anyway so let's talk about some tips while you open carry when you open carry your number one goal is to get to your destination and to get home uh, without any events any interaction whatsoever that would be the number one goal uh, but if you do have an interaction uh, if someone does end up alerting police or police just show up uh, you want to make sure that you do end up home and not at jail at the hospital or in a morgue okay so you don't want to do anything that would make the officer nervous make sure your hands are clearly visible um, keep them either holding your collar or perhaps folded in front of you what you don't want to do is um, cross your arms so that your hands are hidden you don't want your hands behind your back or in your pockets uh, anywhere where they can't see your hands that's gonna make them nervous okay uh, you want to stay calm there's no reason to get all upset if the cop is gonna ask you questions you can either answer his questions to move on or if you want to you know assert your right to remain silent and just sit there and shut up that's great too um, but there's no reason to get angry or agitated it's just it looks bad it's stupid and all you're doing is you're agitating that officer now he's thinking well now you you might not be a, uh, a stable person you could be unstable um, and now you risk being arrested or shot or whatever beaten um, the other thing you want to make sure is that you know your case law okay so always be familiar with Terry v Ohio uh, US v Black U.S. v. DeBerry, Delaware v. Prowse, which is a case where um, an officer can't just stop you because your actions require a license or a permit to do. So, for instance, in that case, uh, they tried to justify the fact that you need a license to drive a car as the probable cause for pulling over someone to check to see if they had a license. Um, that doesn't fly. Brown v. Texas is another case where they basically rule that any ID law that your state may have is unenforceable unless there is reasonable articulable suspicion to stop you in the first place. Those ID laws don't apply until you are lawfully detained. Okay. Whenever you open carry, uh, remember there's always a chance that you may be arrested even if it's unjustified. Legal fees can be very expensive. You may want to consider getting some type of legal insurance, either through the NRA um, or some other legal insurance group that maybe your employer provides. See if they they provide uh, not only self-defense but uh, false arrest. Okay, so those are important to uh, to consider. Not everyone. It's not going to be right for everybody, but it's something to see if it's right for you, uh, which is another good thing to have is a body camera, okay, so when you are arrested, you have evidence that supports your testimony that you weren't doing anything wrong, you were simply exercising your right to open carry in Massachusetts, you declined to answer any questions, and you were arrested, okay, so just remember when you do videotape in Massachusetts, that you must either openly record, so that means you know, the camera is out in the open and it's very obvious that you are recording, or that you simply disclose to the officer, Officer, I am audio recording, please don't arrest me for wiretap. There's also apps on your cell phone that you can get that will automatically stream the data to or the video to a third party server so that in the event that an officer tries to delete your video your stuff is still saved out in the cloud somewhere um, i personally will be using this dash cam that i'm using right now it picks up audio I'm, i'll probably retrofit it to a hat disclose that i'm audio recording 
then have my cell phone recording in a pocket. Since I've already disclosed that I am audio recording, I should be fine. And um, that way it both streams and that it's quite obvious if I'm wearing it on a hat that I am recording. And uh, I should be good, let's hope. So hopefully by the next time I post a video, uh, I will have an actual open carry walk video to show you guys. Uh, I hope it will be uneventful. And, uh, you know, if you have any questions or comments, just uh, shoot me an email, ma.opencarry at gmail.com. Or you can uh, comment on the video below. You can subscribe to my videos and hopefully spread the word that open carry in Massachusetts is okay. Alright, so everyone have a good day. Stay safe. Carry on.